Welcome back to week five of Ruddler on Air. I'm Chase. And I'm Meredith. Hope you guys have been doing well. Let's go to the shop to see what we've been working on this week. So right behind me is our full-size field that our volunteers have been working very hard to accomplish. Um, we are very excited moving forward to have teams come into our shop and use this field whenever they feel necessary. Let's keep looking at what Red Alert is up to. So over here, we have been working on our operations setup for our pit. Um, we're gonna end up coloring this and making it look a lot more nice, but you will see it, so she peek. Um, following me over here into our shop, um, Red Alert is hard at work behind me. Over here we have some prototypes that have been created for our robot. Um, and back there our controls team is working with our engineering team to ensure that our robot drive train will be able to move. Um, also you can tell some machines are running in the background, parts are being made uh, all the time here. Um, so we're making some great progress and really looking forward to putting our robot together. Along with working at our innovation center, we've been helping out with the weekly STEM club. Let's go here for some kids participating in the club. All right. Hi, what's your Hi. name? Mason. Mason, what grade are you in? Third. Have you liked STEM camp this far? Yes, you I have. have. What's been your favorite activity? Probably the um, mouse one. or The mouse one? Mm -hmm. Can you describe what you did there? Um, so we um, built walls and we did coding to get the mouse to the cheese. Oh, that's so cool. I love activities like that. Mm -hmm. What are some lessons that you've learned throughout the camp? Um, I've learned to use teamwork and have creativity and use other people's ideas and not just mine. Wow, that's really cool. I'm glad you learned that. Thank you for uh, talking to me today. You're welcome. All right, have a nice day. All right. Hi, what's your name? Kinsley. What grade are you in? Third. Awesome. So what has been, what has been your uh, favorite activity here? Um, probably the marble run. The marble run? What did you do there? Um, we had to build the tallest marble one and see um, how long it took. Awesome. To get down. That's really cool. What have you learned about STEM in this camp? Um, I learned that teamwork is very important and you should share your ideas, but not just your ideas, and you should listen to others. Oh, that's really good stuff to know. Alrighty. Hi, what's your name? Adele. Adele, nice to meet you. What grade are you in? I'm in second. Second grade, nice. So, what have what has been your favorite activity um, through your STEM club experience? Probably, um, probably coding a mouse. Coding a mouse? Well, that's awesome. What have you learned through coding? Um, I've learned how um, some parts of coding have to have a lot of thinking. A lot of thinking, yeah. Yeah, because you have to, hard. like, know which way to move or program something. Yeah, that's awesome that you're learning that. Um, what other things have you learned? What other good things have you learned here? I've learned a lot about sharing. Sharing? Because um, I have to share a lot of equipment in there. Nice. Yeah, sharing is very important to learn. Um, would you come back next year, or would you do this again? Definitely. Definitely? You Definitely. really enjoy the experience? Yes. Well, I'm really glad. Um, I'll let you get back to work up there. Looks like you were very productive with your bridge making. I'm really excited to see how that turns out. Thank you for talking with me. You're welcome. All right. Hi. What's your name? Will. All right. What grade are you in? I'm in second grade. Cool. So what has been your favorite activity? Uh, my favorite activity has been the marble run. And the marble run? Nice. And we've got up to the 20s and the seconds, like, pretty long. Nice, that's pretty cool. Can you explain what you did? Okay, so we took these pieces and put them together, and then and then we took a marble, dropped it on top, and there's this one where it goes down, and that goes, goes around, and that takes about, like, 12 seconds or something like that. Nice. That's pretty cool. What do you got over here? Oh, this is my robot dog. See, oh, his head fell off. <laughs> he oh, that's okay. Yeah. Okay, say hello. 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 So, what was the purpose of making a robot dog? What did you learn here? Um, I learned that that it can be any, this, the foil can be very weak, so we need a very strong structure on the bottom, like, like, plastic or something like that like yeah so you learned how to basically build an invention that's stable yeah yeah would you like to come back next year and do this again 
Of course. Of course. Nice. This is like this is like my this is my, like my favorite after school thing. Oh, I'm so glad. Well, I'm going to let you get back to work in there. Thank you so much for talking with me. That was adorable. Yeah, it was. It's so awesome to have such great support coming from our school. In other news, this is our fifth year hosting our Week Zero scrimmage. As you can see around us, we are currently building the full-size field in our own shop. Teams from all, their, all over the state are welcome to come and use our full-sized field during practice matches. And if you would like to practice on our field, feel free to contact us with the email that we will have after this. Speaking of helping teams, we also have a CNC that teams are welcome to come use. All you have to do is get in contact us with the information below. We have an open door policy here at Red Alert, so we are more than happy to help you out in any way that we can possible. I think that's all we have for this week on Red Alert On Air. Let's get back to building the robot. Bye. See ya. Along with working at our innovation center, we've been. <gasps> oh! <laughs> that scared me so much. <laughs>